just messing about in the garage with a couple of uh, vintage Philips kit set speakers which I managed to fix up. Um, originally bought them for I think a dollar um, just to get the the drivers but then I ended up picking up the uh, the missing bass drivers in another auction so I thought I'd put them all together. So we've got classic really high quality vintage Philips 8 inch and they're really really nice um, mid drivers which have fantastic vocals and then a New Zealand Paisley um, Silk Dome which I'm not really noted for their quality but in this, in this setup they actually sound pretty good um, I've got a couple of spare um, Philips, classic Philips Mylars which I used in the suitcase speakers um, the holes are a bit big for them though so I'd have to make an adapter ring to put them in there so I don't know whether I'll bother keep these as spares for the suitcase speakers um, but yeah main reason I'm out here is uh, I picked up one of these little SMSL um, 10 watt class D's off eBay and I primarily bought it as a little travel amp so I could take it to various events I do and just uh, play some background music with some crappy Yamaha speakers and it's actually been really good um, it's got a speaker protection circuit so no nasty speaker pops when you turn it off and on which is always something I look for in uh, T-Class amps um, and I've just got it running off just a an El Cheapo uh, regulated uh, 12 volt 2.5 amp uh, wall wart that I just got with some um, LED strip lighting and this has got a good enough uh, internal filter that um, you don't get any noise or anything from it so you can totally run them off a, a decent regulated switch mode power supply and what have I got? I've got, just got a bit of um, Trez Motoclam um, you just have to take my word for it, the camera's not, not happy tonight, it's just a bit bit too dim in the in the evening for it. So I'll just do it. close your eyes. So won't you close your eyes? So that's at about half volume. Close your eyes. see for, for 10 watts it does a really good job and that was turning up all the way no noticeable distortion so it's got a good it's got a good governing circuit in it that doesn't let it get up to its distortion phase which um, T amps are a bit notorious for after they get about to 80% of the output they, they really break down but that's got a limiter in it that stops it doing that so it's really good um, it's just got one of these detachable um, binding posts which um, thankfully are not proprietary so I should be able to pick up some more. It's a lot better than having like really other crappy screw downs so it's, it's not a bad solution. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, I'm really tempted to sand down the cabinets and do them up really nice because I'll see if I can play something with a bit of bass I mean they're a sealed speaker so I don't expect them to have an enormous amount of bass but for vocal stuff actually really good where is McLemore and Rhinolis? Macklemore is always a good one for bass. We'll just go. Nah, 
So that's that's about as much space as you're going to get out of them. But man, if you if you play music to their strengths, they sound really nice. Anyway, that's uh, me probably rambling on enough. So if you take anything away from them, these little uh, SMSL amplifiers, really good. Um, I got it for about 50 New Zealand dollars uh, shipped to my door, which is pretty good. Um, so they're not the cheapest things in the world, but they are quite good quality. I, of course, had to, I had to source my own power supply for it, but it's 12 volts and it doesn't pull that much current. So anything you got lying around, old power supplies for computer equipment, this is off a scanner, that'll do it. You know, anything you get off LED lights, that'll do it. 12 volts, easy. Use this pretty common um, DC bullet jack. So yeah, grab a TM, grab some vintage speakers, have a party. Catch you later.